Market Coupling and the Flow-Based Coupling Initiative – Two Interconnection Optimization Tools for Europe The French power transmission grid is connected to the grids of six other countries. Electricity exchanges, both imports and exports, occur constantly thanks to these interconnections. Interconnections are a way of providing mutual assistance between neighbouring countries through the complementary nature of their consumption profiles and their generation fleets, thereby strengthening their security of supply. They also enable participants on the wholesale market to purchase electricity from the country in which the wholesale market price is lowest at a given hour. For instance, in the event of a consumption peak in France, it makes more sense from an economic point of view to import wind-powered electricity from Germany rather than ramping up costly and pollutant thermal power plants in France and vice versa. To ensure that interconnections are used in the right direction, meaning from the country with the lowest electricity price to that with the highest, a system based on algorithms known as market coupling has been implemented by 17 European countries. This mechanism concerns four out of six French borders. Market coupling matches the purchase offers of all these countries with the least expensive generation units across the entire area. This pooling of generation units is nevertheless limited to the import and export capacities at each border. The way these capacities are calculated is therefore essential in allowing a maximum of exchanges while ensuring the safety of the grid. Let us take an example. On the border between France and Spain, RTE sets the maximum import and export capacities between the two countries according to assumptions of use of the lines of the French electricity network. Market participants cannot transmit electricity in excess of these set limits. The calculations are slightly more complex for exchanges with Belgium and Germany. As these two countries are very close geographically, the same lines of the French electricity grid are used for exchanges with either country. RTE must take this interdependence into account when setting the maximum import and export limits with these two countries. RTE currently allocates these maximum capacities by distributing them ex ante across each of the two borders, without taking into account actual market needs, which may result in non-optimized network use. Let us consider a case in which RTE allocates a maximum export capacity of 500 megawatts to both Belgium and Germany, while Belgium wishes to import 1,000 megawatts and Germany no electricity at all. Belgium's needs can only be half satisfied, while the transmission capacity reserved for exports to Germany, not needed at this particular time, is lost. To avoid such situations, a new method known as flow-based market coupling will be implemented between France, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. With this method, the network will automatically be used for more useful exchanges. In our example, RTE will set an overall maximum export capacity to Belgium and Germany. The flow-based mechanism will then define the optimal export solution to each of these two countries. While previously Belgium could only import 500 megawatts, in future it will be able to import 1000 megawatts if needed, and if the following hour Germany needs to import electricity, the network will be dedicated to these exchanges. The flow-based system therefore increases exchange potential on borders where they are the most useful, thereby making the management of consumption peaks easier while cutting the overall generation cost in these countries. The implementation of such mechanisms requires standardised operating rules shared by all system operators in Europe. The French Energy Regulatory Commission CRE, is playing an active role in the drafting of the European network codes that will define these rules and contribute to an improved functioning of Europe's energy market.